Recognizing that literacy is a fundamental part of development, Thailand's Department of Non-Formal Education, or NFE, has set up a network of programs offering basic education skills. In addition to food for the mind, the NFE is also providing many people with essential tools for survival in the modern world. what you see around you, good for you. If you can understand what you read and use it, even better. You'll be able to find a job and take care of yourself, which is good for you and for the country. This, in a nutshell, is the thinking behind the Department of Non-Formal Education in Thailand. For the last 50 years, the government of Thailand has actively promoted the role of education for development. So much so that today, 93% of the population can read and write. Yet there are still many who are missing this opportunity because they live too far from schools, don't speak the language, are disabled or simply so poor that school just isn't an option. It is in response to such needs that the Department of Non-Formal Education or NFE has set up programs offering basic and functional literacy in all 76 provinces of the country. There is also vocational training for those who missed their chance earlier and for those who need to boost their skills to compete in the job market, including special programs for people with disabilities. I used to be just a laborer carrying bricks and sand. Now I'm here because I want to be able to read when I see a sign. I want to know what it says, to understand like everyone else. I want to know what people read in the newspaper. I want to know what's going on. Today, about 10,000 staff members and volunteers run a learning program adapted to the needs and environments of the learners. In recognition of its innovative methods in promoting literacy, the NFE was awarded the 1998 Human Resources Development Award by the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. Because the NFE courses are adapted to the needs of the people, they can learn how to read and write if they want to, or study for a degree, or get special training. So the communities are involved in making the programs. The problem of improving literacy among as many people as possible is a constant challenge to the governments of developing countries in Asia. Struggling with the lack of adequate financial resources and skilled manpower, they often have to overcome outdated cultural practices as well. Non-formal education is a means of solving this problem. The best learners being curious learners, the NFE has established no less than 35,000 village reading centers across Thailand. People come and hear the news, chat and get exposed to new knowledge from NFE's volunteers and other villagers. Coming together in this way has also given these people an added sense of community with an impact that is far beyond simple learning. High tech is also high on the NFE agenda. At the center in Chiang Rai in northern Thailand, young people from hill tribe villages learn how to use a keyboard and become acquainted with the symbols. Using this technology also brings them information on subjects that touch their lives, such as AIDS, drugs and nutrition. The 10,000 staff members or volunteers of the NFE operate through a network of friends and allies, thereby reaching and helping more people. The villagers supported the program from the beginning. They built the tables for the center. They also joined us when we were training the teachers. The NFE has also secured the support of the local clergy to bring people together for their program. Many of the religious leaders have offered their compounds as a venue for the classes. The NFE values every skill and every bit of knowledge. 
the department's greatest contribution is its success in cultivating the people's ability to think for themselves. Such ability is invaluable in a country where the education system still relies largely on rote learning. It is here that the Buddhist philosophical concept of Kit Pen plays its important role. Kit Pen is, is the process how to think, how to help people to think critically, to think, uh, you know, reasonably. Uh, and uh, if, if people are going to solve any problem, any problem. Thank you.